Hello everyone. Uh, recently I decided uh, to record myself while, while playing and uh, and uh, post that on YouTube of course and uh, maybe someone will like it. So uh, today I decided to play Dead Island, uh, ripped it. Uh, I'm not really uh, I'm not really fan of uh, horror games, but I'm big fan of uh, RPG games and uh, everything that have RPG elements uh, actually that uh, have upgrade of weapons or um, uh, upgrade of uh, character leveling and things like that so uh, I will mostly of time uh, play uh, those type of games but uh, sometimes maybe I take something else um, well, let's see about this game well, uh, recently I see that uh, that it's uh, I see review of this game and uh, I know that uh, it's uh, uh, I know it's a sequel of uh, uh, Dead Island uh, original and uh, I didn't play uh, first uh, Dead Island but uh, I hope that uh, it will not be a problem to um, to follow story so let's start Oh, I don't. I think I can't uh, make name for myself. Username. Let's see. I usually don't play uh, play female uh, characters. I don't know why. <laughs> it's so easy to misclick here. Cycle skill, transfer attack during fury. I hear that uh, this is new character in uh, this game. And uh, four of those are already already was here in the first uh, part. So I think I will try the new one because uh, I suppose that uh, people who is uh, who already played uh, uh, Dead Island the original uh, already know uh, other characters. So maybe this will be more interesting for th for them. And uh, I also like. Uh, those type of uh, characters. My grandfather fought the Japanese here in World War II and never left, married a local girl. My father was native born and a sergeant major, so I'm a second generation military. And from the time I was 10, I wanted to follow in their footsteps. I wanted to be a soldier and protect and defend this country against all enemies. I did my job, I did what I was told. Once followed orders. Until the day they gave me an order I couldn't follow. You see, it's hard to describe how it feels when everything you believe in turns out to be a lie. And the people you trusted, the ones you love, die. And none of my commanders were born here. None of them knew the land and the people who lived here. None of them had to sacrifice anything. So they made others sacrifice what was dearest to them. I see. I was accused of desertion and treason, and for that I was to spend the rest of my life in prison, simply for helping those I'd sworn to protect. Now, now I know who is. This fight is not over. I swore an oath. And as far as I'm concerned, John Morgan is still a soldier. Okay. Hmm. Combat survival balance or custom. Yeah, I like when uh, when I kill pe uh, enemies uh, fast. So I think I will choose combat for this. Local lifeguard I believe in the cinema saved my life. So after that, I discovered I was immune to this place. 
those who were immune, and somehow we were all elected to save everybody else. There was Sam B, a one-hit wonder hip-hop star from the States, Logan, an ex-football player, a full-time douchebag who never missed a chance to hit him, and Shin Mei, a sweet little hotel clerk who was as brutal with a blade as anyone I had ever seen. Together, we went to Norsby to try to gather more supplies. From there, things really went to hell. The army tried to contain the infection, but they were bloody useless. Benoit itself was totally isolated. It was pretty clear we were on our own. At this point, we just wanted off that goddamn island. And that's what led us to that maximum security prison. You see, some dickhead colonel by the name of Ryder White lied to get us to track down what he thought was a cure for this zombie plague. Well, that cure ended up turning White into a giant bloody maniac. Luckily, we hooked up with a prisoner who blew us out of there while we heard us home. We were off that goddamn island at last, and everyone we tried to save back on the moon. We just didn't make it. Except for that little naval girl, Mary Monk. We spotted that naval vessel just in time, as we were just about out of petrol. We couldn't believe how lucky we were to find it. Okay, here we go. Oh, more story, okay. your hands off me what the hell what is going on here oh, get off me ah, get it off me get it off what's with the cops sorry but i can't take any chances my orders are to take you into custody and transport you to a secure quarantine area and who the hell are you lieutenant colonel samuel hardy don't resist and you'll be fine. You just need to be sure you don't pose hey, a no threat. The threat's on Benoit. You have any idea what's happening back there? We have an idea. We're hoping you can help us fill in the details. Especially her. You keep the hell away from her. Frank Serpo. I should have guessed. Are you the one in charge of this clusterfuck? Watch yourself with this guy. This freak would sell out his own mother. If he had one. Take the immune down to the lab. Two others will come with me. Yeah. Hey, do we look like goddamn guinea pigs I'm to a you? citizen of the USA, man. I got motherfucking rights. Back off, Serpo. You just stay out of it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Don't do that again. One less immune won't make any difference. Now take him to the lab. You may have command over Palanai, but on this ship, I'm in charge and I have my orders. Your orders are to follow my orders, Colonel. Would you like me to call your superiors? Somebody tell me what the fuck is going on here. Mr. Serpo. I've already administered three doses. So how much longer? You said we'd have results by now. Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Just be careful. We don't want him dying on us. What about the native woman? Yeramar. That's a more complicated case. He's being taken to another location. Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, my. You've been bitten. How long has it been? Long enough. I guess it doesn't affect me. So you immune too? So it seems. <laughs> right, that's one beat to shit like this. It's all part of my cover. So they tested you too? Yeah. I'm guessing they're trying to figure out why we're all in need of this. I'll just I was a soldier before the shit hit the fan. Part of a huge humanitarian search and rescue operation. And then that civilian arrived. So, right. Suddenly, the military was no longer in charge, and the rescue operation was called off. So what are they up to? All I know is there's a naval blockhead around the entire archipelago. No one's allowed in or out. Whatever the fuck is going on, there's nothing to do with humanitarian efforts. That's pretty clear. Okay, at last. This is a fucking dog's breakfast. Oof. Maybe I should do something with the sound. Yeah. I usually uh, like to lower music because I. Uh, Sometimes I don't hear uh, what happening away with all that music. Sometimes it's uh, too loud. Um, yeah, of course. I better head topside. Get my bearings. Okay. Looks like the crew already bailed. Oh wait, wait! Oh, I don't want to close this door. Okay. I wonder one of those persons that want to see every corner of the game level. So usually I will I will just uh, search for new materials or weapon or whatever I, I can find in every corner of the map. Uh, sometimes it, uh, it it can ruin game, but I'm. I'm trying to I will try to not do that too often. Clamp take. I want Oh come on. Come on. Is it possible to go here? I think it's not uh, come on! Oh, <laughs> I almost did it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Does this hurt me? Oh, apparently not. It's good that comments is uh, almost the same as in other games. <laughs> 